the intelligence community, of which you know very well, is actually finally starting to investigate whether or not this thing started in a lab or where it really started. What's, what's the latest on that? The intelligence community is saying that it's either an accident where they let it out of the lab by accident, or it was a weaponized assault on the West. Now, when you say that, what do you mean? Here's exactly what I mean. China's army, navy, and air force can't touch the United States. They're probably on par with Russia, more or less. However, they have written manuals, which you can look at on the internet, and I urge our watchers today to Google Chinese asymmetrical warfare. They have put out bulletins where they talk about the way to conquer the West is to bring it to its knees by something not normal as a weapon. In other words, if you can't blow up the opposition, maybe you can destroy the opposition, i.e. the United States and the West, by covert means, like take out the grid, uh, inflate currency, uh, change trade deficits, or launch a biological weapon that destroys their economy. Here's a question that I'm gonna ask you, the viewers. I don't know the answer, but I think they'll get the point. Beijing, capital of China, where all the elites live and work, has virtually no cases. It's a humongous city. It's very close to Wuhan. Interesting, very their, interesting. Their capital of commerce is also in China, has almost no cases. How is it possible that China isn't infected, but New York is devastated, Italy devastated, France, Spain, and so on, all the Western countries devastated? Kent, did they export a weapon that they covered up for months with the help of the stooge running the World Health Organization with the express intent of destroying the Western economies? And, and here's another question. How many companies that are on the verge of bankruptcy are being bought up right now by Chinese investment firms? Huge. I've China heard, got into the stock market big the last couple of weeks. That's what I've heard too. Very, exactly. very interesting. Which brings us over to your next, uh, next thing you pointed out. Very interesting. Are there really tons and tons of people dying in China that's not been, and bodies being processed that haven't been reported? There are satellite photos from Wuhan, not elsewhere in China. Like I said, Beijing, fine. Other country, other, other cities, major cities in China, fine. But in Wuhan, they have satellite photos. You can look it up on Google Earth that are taking pictures of crematoriums that are running 24 seven. They are lit up like a Christmas tree, Kent. They're saying that maybe 60,000 bodies are being burned and processed a month in China, in the Wuhan province. Not elsewhere, just in Wuhan, where they let it out first. If that's the case, it's much worse than China has said. And this BS that I'm hearing from politicians, it's disgusting how great China has done to control it. A, they weaponized this. B, they probably released it on the world. And when they released it, C, it's wiping out that province in China. So they say it's under control, so we let, out, let down our guard while many Chinese are dying. 